kwa majina ni Masi Cheruto Lopan na Funsa Kamnanten CD Center ni iko le ya North e, na tumekuwa na changamoto mingi e, kutoka tuanze shule iko na miaka mbili sasa na tumekuwa tumekuwa tukifunza chini ya miti we have roughly 100 learners here we have divided them into into two so that is pp1 and pp2 the biggest challenge that we have despite of uh, of dividing them into two groups is that we don't have a class we teach them under the under the tree and also we teach pp1 under the under the tree and pp2 we always use uh, the church we were given by the by the uh, pastor and other leaders of the church now pp2 wanasomea kwa kanisa pp1 wanasomea nje lakini kukinyesha this is what we always do tunaenda in shift pp tunafanya general reading for the first lesson the second lesson pp2 remains in the class pp1 wanatoka nje na ikikuwa wakati ya mfua huo tuna huo tunahangaika sana 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 pia tuna hata tuna, chakula tukipata tunapikanga tu chini ya miti bado na ikinyesha inakuwa inaletanga shida juu tuwezi pika na pia hata watoto tuna experience shida mingi ikinyesha hawatakuja shule kufunza chini ya mti it's very painful kwa nini one mimi nitafunza hapa kama vile nafunza sounds hapa eh? ni highway utakuta kuna gari imepita nini ya attention ya watoto it is imeshaenda ime si ndio wanaweza ona mbuzi inapita hapa wataambiana na ndio hiyo mbuzi kila kitu kimesaulika the other thing mimi hapa siwezi yeka chats maybe i have that experience. okay i'm trained jinsi ya kuwafunza but siwezi deliver why hapa siwezi weka chats the other thing hata tukitaka kusema tunafanya modeling hapa you know modeling is always done kwa meza but now hapa nikiwawekea hapa modeling clay itaguza uchafu imeharibi ime imeharibika tuko na chakula yes but we don't have water naweza kuta tumeletewa lita mbili and you want to cook like you want to cook like 5 kg of rice and 2 kg of beans so we had up uh, postponing the cooking of the food no na that is the biggest challenge the other challenge is that we don't have teaching and learning materials hapa we were given uh, we were supported by some well wishers uh, example mugie conservancy they assisted us with uh, writing materials that is pen pencils rubbers crayons and modeling clays but books we don't have okay as teachers the biggest challenge that we have we don't have uh, guidance we don't have these books like the designs the textbooks we don't have number serikali yetu ya county please and please we need some teaching material so that learning will be will be conducive for the learners the other challenge hapa the uh, ni the drought jua ikiwaka watu wako njaa watoto they move with their parents you know these are pastoralists so they move with their their children the number of learners starts what a dropping uh, currently the number the number is high this is because kumenyesha it's green the parents are now back that is why you can see all these children now like in number serikali wakati kuna njaa at least they maintain these feeding programs in school so that the watoto wabaki shuleni sasa tuko na shida tuliajiriwa last year mwezi wa 7 na tuko na mwaka mmoja sasa hivi bila kulipwa hata shilingi tumekuwa tukiambiwa tu mfumilie mpaka budget isomwe alafu mtapata mshahara zenu lakini tulienda interview na tuko qualify na tukatumwa hapa serikali yetu wajue we teachers of Kamnante tuko njaa na tunataka watushughulikie hawezi fanya kazi hawezi amka kila asubuhi you are telling your family i'm going to work alafu ikifika at the end of the month mom i want i want something you are there telling your child i don't have what will your child feel i want that the government the current government watuangalie kama walimu wa ICD kukiwa na chakula hata kama ni uji tu peke yake account watuangalie kwanza sana sana hii hii ni ICD standalone ICD center hasa wasipo tuangalia itatuletea shida kwa hivyo tunaomba pia watuangalie tusiwahi kosa chakula ili tu maintain to maintain our wanafunzi wapate kusoma let us talk of uh, bandits wanasemaga we pokots are bandits now i want the government to look for a permanent solution si kutuletea operation 
operation you are reducing our number but we as pokot we want a permanent solution and a permanent solution is building schools why one okay these learners wakiwa huko nyumbani they are idle and these buddies they are ready to train them because hakuna mtu anawafunza lakini hawa watoto wakikuja hapa shuleni at least they spend most of their time in in school those buddies will not get what will not get them